This is a video for our first assignment in test prep after the pretest in the math area, solving linear equations. So this was your packet of problems here. And you'll see that the test strategy of multiplying to eliminate denominators is uh, will be prevalent in this. So number one, combine like terms, 6x divided by 6. Pretty easy. Number two, you see right away, combining like terms, or I'm sorry, multiplying to eliminate denominators is um, the first step that you would want to do. Multiplying both sides by 12. And uh, certainly you can just substitute your answer choices. So if the answer is 6, then 6 over 3, which is 2, has to equal 6 plus 2, which is 8 over 4. So if you don't know, just Try substitution. A lot of times that, that can win. Uh, number three, a little simplifying on um, one side here. By the way, before I go much further, this is no calculator work. So you'll see at the headings here, no calculator. So we got to try to stick to that as we go through these problems. So simplify first. Uh, this is 12, 4 times 3, and 3 there. Multiply your negative 3 in, uh, and simplify that expression, <clears throat> and you get negative 3x plus 3, which is 3 minus 3x. Factor out a 3, and you get 3 times 1 minus x. <clears throat> so that is uh, something for sure that uh, you will have to work through. Notice that your answer choices are variable expressions, so can you pick a number maybe after you simplify this much uh, to run through this and certainly you can zero won't work and one won't work um, but two um, would produce uh, negative three for part c and then when you put two in here you get uh, five negative 15 plus 12 negative three so you can try the numbers game all the time it really does work number four Multiply by 7, left to right. This is your result. Add like terms and divide. Number 5, again, distribute there. Through, make the brackets, parentheses, or simplify inside first there, and then combine like terms, and you'll see that you have 27 over 11. Problem 6, multiply to eliminate denominators, and then do this division here, and so... 16 on both sides, then it boils down to something simple after you do that. So lots of multiplying to eliminate fractions. It happens again on number 7. Multiply everything by 6. So 3z minus 2z equals 96. Again, no calculator work on much of this. So the word problem section, you have to kind of think in terms of, I have some starting quantity, plus or minus the slope times x equals a new quantity. So minus the slope would be would mean that you're decreasing, you're losing something. So bees are escaping at 3 per minute here. So you're starting with 1,000, bees are escaping at 3 per minute times so many minutes equals a new result of 400 bees. Solve for x, and then you get 200 after you divide. Number nine, um, so subtract, set it up first, uh, 85 times x, number of hours, plus 180, so he drove three hours for a speed of 60, equals 350, his whole, whole distance. So he has to go for two hours at 85 miles per hour to get that to happen. I'm going to have you skip um, problem 10. There's the work real quick. But it's a little bit confusing on what needs to be done. Um, anyway, so that was a skip on the original. Then problem 11 is going to be a skip. There's the work. Uh, I just think it's the confusing wording that you're not going to see. Problem 12. We have a base salary of 1,700, 20% commission. You set all that up. You subtract, and 35,000 is um, the new amount. This is still no calculator, so I would move it over to, so make it 20x, I have a different color here, but that's all right, 
equals um, I gotta put two zeros on the end here. Seven hundred thousand, then divide by twenty, and you get thirty-five. You know, and you seventy over two thirty-five. So think of taking a zero off the end, making it thirty-five thousand. So knowing your your decimal places is everything without the calculator. So here another problem. Flat rate of fifty thirty cents. That's your rate. So you always have to think some beginning amount plus your rate times x equals some new amount. That's how linear problems work. And maybe it's that way on both sides of the equation. Um, so then subtract over and divide it out again. 30x would equal 15,000 if you wanted to do it. You got to add two zeros over here and then just take one away. Probably should have said 3x equals 1,500. It's just a lot easier to do. Um, and then x is 500. But movement of the decimal places when you don't have a calculator is a good way to go about it. So on this back page, we can have a calculator. Um, so here is your what you're trying to figure out. So 3m plus 300. The, M is the number of people who watched the movie on the first day. Um, and then 2N plus the word N is the number of people who watched on the second day. How many people watched movie one? So um, <clears throat> you get that your N has to be 350. Okay, so. Um, once you get that, um, then you can, you know that it has to be 1500 for the first day also. And so then you set the first day is equal to um, 1500. Um, so that's, you have to start with the second day equation there first. Again, calculator allowed, so I'm going to do a little more assumptive reasoning on this. 334 text messages, 33 cents per text message, plus the $30 base fixed amount. Here, solve the equation, a little weird, but you just need to know how to deal with values. So subtract the square root of seven, divide by the square root of three, and you have it. Problem 17. This is always argumentative in the class. The interpretation I want you to have, the pond loses six inches per year. So over three years, it's 18 total inches that are lost. So negative 18 plus something equals 50. Um, there was 68 at the beginning of the first year. That's the interpretation that we need. A little bit goofy. Here's the solution to the next one. I wanted you to skip it again because it's kind of wordy um, and what you need to do. So don't worry about it, but I'll show the actual work if you want to see it. And um, that is the first lesson in our uh, test prep.